Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this quick one, I will show you how you can integrate the awesome font awesome package inside your Ionic 4 application. So it's a bit tricky and it's not always working on the regular way. So we will use an Angular package and then we will be able to um, load all the icons. We can add additional effects like spinning them around, flipping them around, using them for buttons and also uh, how to use an icon for the Ionic tab bar. So we will replace the standard icon with a font awesome icon. So let's do this. I've created a blank new Ionic app already. And the first thing we're going to do is install um, a package called Ford Awesome. And this is actually um, the recommendation from the uh, Font Awesome team. So let me bring this in. There we are. So Angular Font Awesome, uh, Angular components using SVG. And we will use this package and the integration described on the page to use Font Awesome in our own application. And let me go up again. So we install Angular Font Awesome and also the core package, but that's not enough. Uh, by now you have to um, choose which icons you want. So for example, these are the free regular icons and there are also free solid icons and also free brand icons. So there are different icon sets that you can install into your app. I'll just add all the three of them. Of course, always um, keep an eye on the package size of your application. Um, if this blows up your application, perhaps just pick one of them uh, that you really need. But I'll just uh, use all three of them and then I can start my Ionic Surf once it is ready and go to the app module. So please be ready. And there we go. Okay, now we got two ways to implement um, the Font Awesome package in our application. Uh, what we always need to have is first of all the Font Awesome module, which goes to the imports array and then this thing called library. So the library is something we build up um, by adding different icons that we provide for our own application. So you can choose if you want to have all the icon sets available or just a tiny part of them. So let's say um, you just want a few of them. In that case, the import will look like this. Um, let's do this. Um, Let's just remove them and just use the coffee one from the free solid icons. Of course, you can always um, go to the Font Awesome page. So Font Awesome icons and then look up the icon you want to use and see in which package it is included. So if you look for, let's say, Angular, you go to Angular and you already see its style brands. Uh, and also FAB for brands. So you know the icon will be in the brands package. Okay, now if you have this import ready, we can now call the library and actually it only has one function. And then we simply add the FA coffee icon to the library and now we can use it in our pages. But to uh, finally use it in here, we also need to include uh, the Font Awesome module right here. Um, yeah, not like this, but like this. Because otherwise the uh, icon we want to use and the way we want to use it is not defined in the page. So now we're using this approach where we only have imported the one icon and we need to continue this inside our home page where we import the FA coffee again. And in here we assign it to a variable that we can then use inside our home page. So it is perhaps a bit um, tricky. Uh, let's call this awesome icons. And to use the icon we've just uh, created, Let's already start with the ion list lines full. So there will be a few more entries at the end of this tutorial. 
So this would be the direct import way. And then you can use this FA icon component. We can use the brackets for the icon because we are referencing a variable of our uh, homepage. And then we combine it with the Ionic way, which is providing the right slot for the icon. And in our case, we want to have it at the end of the row. So let's refresh this. And uh, it looks like you've provided a null or undefined object. That's right. So let's change this. And there we go. The Angular Font Awesome coffee icon appears. So if you want to use this way, um, it's a bit more complicated. It can keep the size of your package a bit smaller, but of course you will always have to import every icon that you need like this and then use it as an icon inside the view like this. Okay, up to you. If you're just using a few icons, totally fine. Um, but let's take a look at the second approach, how we can do it. So for this, we will simply use all the imports. We use the solid, the regular and the brands. Of course, it's up to you uh, how many you import. You can just import one, but then you can add the whole sets to your library and it will be available inside your application. Um, I don't know if we actually need this in that case, and this could be removed as well. But uh, let's just add a few more and I will add a bunch of items and we will go over them one by one. So first of all, a big icon, same like before. Um, now we are still using the brackets um, because we can construct the icon like this, it's more or less like the Angular router. If you use the router link, you can also specify the different path of the URL. And in here we have the different, uh, the icon set and the actual name of the icon. You can set a size for an icon. So this would be four times the size of the icon. And again, slot end. Um, we can rotate the icon directly with this FA icon component. And here you can see, uh, I'm using the icon again. We could also do this in brackets again, um, but, oh, thanks Siri. You don't have to listen to me. Uh, never mind. So if you specify rotate, the icon will be rotated, of course. Then we got the spin, which is actually pretty funny because if you define spin true, the icon will spin the whole time and it looks pretty good. We will see it inside the view very soon. Um, pulse is more or less the same like spin, but it's a bit more, I don't know how to call it. Uh, you will see it. It's not that fluent like spinning around, but there are use cases when this might be true for loading indicator stuff. And finally, um, I grabbed this from the documentation. Uh, it's basically an icon, but it is uh, connected to a variable that we can activate or deactivate. We could also do this from the class, of course. Not really magic, but it's nice to see this directly on this one icon. So let's save all of this and check it out. And there we go, of course. Um, yes, this icon item was not closed yet. Okay, so we still got the direct import. We got the very big icon. We got the 90 degrees rotated icon. We got the freaky spinning icon, the pulsing, um, refreshing bubbles, whatever. And then we got this icon, which is paused and can be started simply with a click on the icon. Okay, so that's already pretty funny, um, but there's one thing more you can use and this is layers. So with layers, you can add something on top of the icon. So inside the documentation, there was example with a shopping cart and you know, there's the Ion badge, but combining Font Awesome Ionic might be tricky in some cases. So why not simply rely on something like this? So you have this wrapper object and then the icon. And in this case, a counter appears on the icon. But the problem right here is as you can see, the red bubble is super small. I'm not completely sure why, but I found this fix inside the repository. So you can add this 
and then the result looks a lot more like what you want to achieve okay we got all the different use cases i think oh no we got a few more we got the buttons still so you can use um, ion icons for buttons as you know so we can also use fun awesome icons for buttons again the same syntax inside the ion button um, fa icon the name of the icon and then you can also use pull uh, which pulls the icon a bit to the left or the right because um, if you don't use ionic icons inside the button the padding is a little bit um, ugly i would say so use pull left to get a little bit more padding or just add some css and also again we can use the ionic slots to define in which place of the dom uh, the shadow dom the icon should appear so slot right pull right means at the end and a bit more to the right and finally of course uh, the slot icon only works as well um, again with the bracket syntax so you can use whatever you like and works and let's see how the buttons now look like so button with the left icon button with the right icon and button with just the angular icon okay um, that's all for using the icons but I want to do one more thing and that is um, using tab icons uh, from font awesome so this has been posted inside the community very often and it's actually pretty easy if you know how to do it so first of all search for the icon you want to have um, perhaps we will just take angular and then at the bottom somewhere you will find a download and yes of course i agree um, so now we can use this file bring it over to our icons and then we go to the tabs file and in the place where we specify the icon which is actually the name for an ion icon we can also simply set a path and in our case it's in assets icon angular brands dot svg and let's see and there we go a nice font awesome tab icon with ionic so the magic is simply to copy over the icon file to your assets and then using the link for the ion tabs uh, you see you can use this in combination with uh, local assets and of course also still having ionic icons on other tabs all right i think that's all for today um, we've seen how to integrate font awesome uh, through the angular package into our ionic 4 application um, how to use it either with single imports so uh, explicit imports or with the whole library that's available it's up to you to pick the way you want to import it but it's really nice to um, have the chance to use font awesome in ionic apps because it's a widely used package it's awesome the icons are great yes um the ionicons are great as well but they're a bit limited and not for all use cases um, there's an icon so font awesome is great the integration is easy um, no reason not to use it if you enjoyed this video of course make sure to subscribe below to my channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com which is my own uh, personal coding school for you as an ionic developer to learn everything ionic and build apps as fast as possible so i'd love to see you inside i'd love to see you inside the next video have a great day and take care